our next topic is decision tree analysis in this decision tree analysis we have to find the expected monetary value then we have to draw the diagram that is the decision tree next we have to select the best alternative so i have taken a problem for solving the decision tree analysis problem so the problem uh, i have only written the decision matrix over here as because i have a limited space over here in this particular black uh, whiteboard but i can read it out the problem for your ready reference the problem says a glass factory that specializes in crystal is developing a substantial backlog and for this the firm's management is considering three courses of action <coughs> The correct choice depends largely upon the future demand, which may be low, medium, or high. Show this decision situation in the form of a decision trees. Indicate the most preferred decision and its corresponding expected value. Okay. Now look, a glass factory that specializes in crystal is developing a substantial backlog. Backlog means they are uh, making the products. in enough so that they can supply in need in future so backlog means they are storing their product for future demand now the table is given which are i have already write it in the whiteboard now this table has s1 s2 s3 S one is the subcontracting. You can make the extra product, or you can uh, stop the product which uh, uh, they have said that they are going to backlog. Okay, backlog the products using three courses of action. The first one is the subcontracting using subcontractors. Second one is the being overtime to do overtime, and the last one is the construct new facility. So. they want a decision whether selecting s1 or s2 or s3 uh, three alternatives which one will be the best for their uh, substantial backlog so we have to uh, make a uh, tree decision tree and we have to decide from that particular decision tree which alternative is going to be the best suited for the partic for that particular glass factory okay so <clears throat> i have written the demand and accordingly probability there is a low medium and high and the proper probabilities are given over here and the alternatives are given uh, the values of the alternatives are given in the particular matrix over here now for uh, constructing the uh, decision tree first we have to find the expected monetary value so i have written the steps over here you can have a quick look over here step 1 is to Uh, uh, find the expected monetary value that is EMV. We are going to find the EMV. And uh, step two is the to draw the diagram, and the step three is the to select the best alternative. And now, for constructing, uh, for sorry, uh, we have to find first the EMV. EMV for S one. For calculating EMV for S one, you already know that we have to find the. Um, uh, we have to multiply the probability with the values of the s1 corresponding values of the s1 and the corresponding values of the probability and we have to sum it up okay so for the first one s1 we have to 0.1 into 10 plus 0.5 into 50 plus 0.4 into 50 so i am going to write the values okay the for for s1 we are going to have Ah, uh, point one into ten plus point five into fifty. Okay, plus point four into fifty. Okay, this gives you a value of forty six. Okay, next for S two we have look S two. We have minus twenty 
into point one plus sixty into point five plus point uh, point four into hundred. So we have point one into minus twenty. Okay, plus point five into sixty plus point four into hundred, which gives you a value of sixty-eight. Okay. Now coming to S three. For S three, we have minus one fifty into point one. Minus one fifty into point one plus twenty into point five plus two hundred into point four. Okay, which gives you a value of seventy five eight. Now see. This is the expected monetary value. This is not EOL. This is expected monetary value. That is, we have to select the maximum one, which is best for this particular glass factory. So, from EMV, we can conclude seventy-five is the best alternative, or a corresponding alternative is S three. We can select S three. S three is the best alternative to be selected for this particular glass factory. Now. We have to draw the diagram. For this, we have to construct the decision tree. Let us have a look at the decision tree. Okay. Now, see, I have constructed already the decision tree for you. Look, D. From D, there is a. We are starting as a decision tree. You can say it as a decision tree. Uh, three branches are there. Okay, and they have the sub branches over here. Okay, so how to construct it? First, you have to select the decision tree. Say it is D. Then three alternatives are coming out from this particular tree as branches. You can name it as subcontracted or S one. Okay, this one is S one. S one is the subcontractor. S two is the being over time. S three is the Construct facility. Now we have already calculated for one, two, and three alternatives. EMV values that is point one into ten equal to one, point five into fifty equal to twenty five, point four into fifty equal to twenty, and we have add them up as forty six. We have got sixty eight. We have also got and seventy five. We have also got. You can have a look again. Look this a. Uh, EMV we have already calculated 0.1 to 10 plus 0.5 into 50 and 46 we are getting for S1, 68 we are getting for S2 and for S3 we are getting 75. So uh, getting this value we are constructing the decision tree with the previously calculated EMV values. So you can see how you can construct a decision tree. Now after constructing the decision tree. You have to select the best alternative. Now you can see for this subcontractor it is forty six. For being over time it is coming at sixty eight, but for constructing facility it is coming at seventy five. So seventy five will be selected, and corresponding alternative is S three. So we are selecting or suggesting or taking decision. to go with the s3 alternative so this was the problem this was the solution for you i hope you have understand how to construct decision tree so that's all